Hi guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to movie night. But instead of watching movies, we're going to be watching my audition tapes and who the casting directors chose instead of me. So if you want to see my failed tapes, I'm already regretting this, please keep watching. So I've got my laptop here where I'll be watching the scenes and I'm of course going to be showing it to you guys at the exact same time that I'm watching. So just to give you guys a little bit of a backstory about me, I've always wanted to be an actress since the day I was born and I'm currently signed with an actor agent in Toronto. Auditioning during the pandemic has definitely been an experience because there really haven't been many in-person auditions. For the most part, it's been self-tapes or ecocast, which is like similar to Zoom auditions. So luckily I have a lot of these self-tapes saved to my laptop. So first up, I'm going to show you guys a tape that I auditioned for for the role in a TV show called The Bold Type. And I actually really wanted this just because it's a show that I do actually watch. Let's get these earpods in. Zuri? From fifth grade, right? Cat freaking Edison? What is up? What's it been, like 15 years? Yeah, wow. Man, it's so good to see you. I always wondered why you left Spence. I really missed you there. You miss me keeping you up on that hot new music. I had to drag you off that back street into Chameleon Air, remember? What? Okay, fair about Chameleon Air, but you know that Nick Carter love was all you. And that's where you're wrong again, Cat. AJ. AJ was my boo. <laughs> <laughs> Zuri Gibbons, all this time, how have you been? Up and down. Been rough for a minute, but I'm finding my way. Zuri Gibbons. This was a really difficult audition to film. The way the script is written, I'm supposed to have like a Yankee New York accent. And it was just so awkward because I... I can't do accents and I was trying my hardest to be myself but yet still add a little bit of that flair and it just wasn't happening. So there were two separate scenes for that one. I completely forgot about that. Let's just open up this second scene. She ended up getting a lot more lines in the actual show. So whenever I ask my sister to be my reader, we always end up just laughing non-stop. All right, here's part two, the second scene. Cat, hey! Sorry I had to bail on coffee. Saw a gig online, had to grab it. Pay shit. But hey, free subs. You want? Two for one. Thanks. Hey, Zuri, look, I... I'm handing out some people. Let me know first I didn't get the belt job. That's what this is, right? Kind of. Also, I want to know what happened. Your girl Darby saw me check the yes felony box. After that was all Ariana Grande, like... Thank you. Next. Happens most so places cringy. I apply. I mean, what happened to you? How did you end up going to prison? <sighs> Why, Kat? Are you asking me to do emotional labor? I'm triggered. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. Girl, I'm messing with you. It's simple. Jack the jewelry store, got caught, did five years in prison, probation. This is the part where we were dying of laughter. Like, we couldn't stop laughing. I couldn't get this scene right. For one, the end. But how did you even get into that? We were both such nerdy little grade grubbers. Here, make yourself useful. In fourth grade, I tested gifted. So my principal helped me get a scholarship to Spence. We didn't know much about private schools. But when we heard Kerry Washington went there, I became the great black hope of my family. It is low-key dope. She's an alum. Right? And but then alum. <laughs> my mom got hurt on her job and was let go. Single parent of three, no work. It became a choose-your-own-adventure after that. Food or heat. Train fare to Spence or free walks to PS287. I started shoplifting. Food, clothes. By high school, I was smashing and grabbing anything I could get cash for. It wasn't even about survival at that point. It was just how oh, I love life. life. Wow. Eh. Prison though? That, wow. Cured me of ever wanting to ride dirty again. So I started college in there, and I'm gonna finish now. That sounds great. I appreciate the love cat. Really. 
but it is what it is. Vanilla Miz and Millennial mixed in. Maybe I needed a prop or something. Like I'm gonna make it a habit to start having something in my hand so I'm not like picking my nails or playing with my hand because that is such a bad habit. And watching it on camera, I'm just so upset. My facial expressions were not exactly the greatest in this audition. There are just so many things looking back, I'm like, wow, you should have done this differently. All I can do is look to the future and learn from my mistakes. Now that we're done watching my audition tape, we're gonna watch the clip from the episode and who they chose. Her take on how she kind of went about it is very different than mine. I was very like, Kat Edison, what is up? And she's just so chill, like, Kat Edison, what's up? Oh yeah, like, I've been up and down, but, but like really calm. And I kind of went a little bit over the top. All right, let's go on to scene number two. Dropping it here. So I hate to admit it, but after watching it, you can see that she is better for the role. She did do a better job. You actually believe what she's saying. It seems so much more natural. She's not going over the top where I was kind of like, I smashed and grabbed whatever I could get. <laughs> and I was just like, did you? Like, she just did a really good job with the role and she took a much different take than I did. And you know, can't hate the player, just have to hate the game. And I don't hate the game. These are all from like last year. They're kind of like from a while back. And since I have definitely improved. So this audition is for an app that's similar to TaskRabbit. So we are going to get into it. I'm just going to skip over my slate. I booked it on Bitme. I just created a new project, took a few photos, and found exactly what I was looking for. Why did I do that? I just did a full on like, you're not supposed to do that. So I don't know why I did. I'm sure there was a reason, but don't ever do that. Trusted contractors who are available now and at a reasonable price. And what I liked even more was that I could get a complete quote within 24 hours. It's free for contractors to bid on projects so that people from all over can find work and get it done. Child. Let's watch who they chose instead of me because I've had enough of myself at this point. My place is being freshly painted. I didn't have the time and I had never met my contractor before today. I booked it on Bid Me. I quickly created a project, took a few pictures, and found what I was looking for. Trusted contractors who are available now at a reasonable price. But what I really loved was getting competing quotes within 24 hours. It's free for contractors to bid on projects so people from all over can find work and get it done. I'm right in the middle of having my home office built. Before you book a contractor, you can read reviews left by other homeowners and hear all about their experiences. If you have any questions, Okay. So she did really good. I was a little bit cringy, but <laughs> I think I would have done just as well. So I guess it is what it is. There's no point in even like thinking too much about it because you just never know what the real reason is that you didn't get booked. So for this audition, I sent in a self tape and the next day they called my agent who let me know that they wanted me to do a callback. In the callback notes, they wanted me to learn the script in Spanish and French. So I spent the next two days at work, literally nose in the script, memorizing the entire thing, perfecting the accent. Like I was going all in because I really wanted this commercial. Basically when it was time for the callback, they only wanted me to do the original script. My brain was kind of like fuzzy. I didn't really remember the original script that well. I still, you know, did it. You could tell that I was thinking about it while I was doing the callback and I was so upset. I think I cried the rest of the day. And now I'm looking at it and the girl they actually chose instead of me, I know, I know her, and I found out not that long ago that she signed with the same agency as me. So my agent, who got me the callback, also got her the callback. <laughs> it's just such a small world. Honestly, it's crazy. I'm gonna show you guys my audition for it. If you think all pads are exactly the same, think again. We just reinvented ultra thins. Like never before with the new triple protection system. 
This pad wick scushes three times faster, absorbs 30% more, and helps prevent leaks so you can stay dry even on your heaviest days. And it neutralizes odors. Rethink your pad for up to 100% leak-free and odor-free comfort. With a totally reinvented Ultra Thins. This is Ultra Thins like never before. I apologize. I apologize. I know I was acting all weird and like the hips and all that and they told me to do it. It was actually in the script so that's why I was being weird. Even the dance. After my audition for the callback, after I was done reading the thing, they were like, we just want to see you dance a bit. I literally wanted to shut my laptop, pack my bags and like move out of the country. They literally made me stand up and start doing like a dance or something. It was the most embarrassing moment of my entire life because I already did a terrible audition. So now we're going to watch the tape of who got it instead of me. And you guys are gonna actually see the product so you'll know what the audition was for. If you think all pads are exactly the same, think again. This is Always Ultra Thins reinvented with the new Always Triple Protection System. This pad wakes gushes 50% faster, absorbs even more so you can feel dry, and locks odors in. Rethink your pad for up to 100% leak-free and odor-free comfort with the totally reinvented Always Ultra Thins. This is always like never before. I'm sorry, but I'm so jealous. Like I just, I'll never get over this because it was actually one of the worst auditions, audition experiences I've ever had in my entire life. Yep, that callback was brutal and it was really hard to get over. Like it took me a while to get, like I was traumatized. It is what it is. She did a great job. She looks so pretty. So this next audition that I'm going to be showing you guys is for a lifetime movie called Left for Dead. It actually just was released last month, I believe. So it's fairly new, but I managed to, you know, dig up the archives because clearly I'm a masochist, mafishist, mafishist, is it mafishist, mafishist. Okay, I don't even know what I'm trying to say at this point. Let's get into it. I'm gonna skip my slate as usual. Hi, Ashley, I'm Sarah. I'm going to be your physical therapist. Okay first five seconds, not even, the first second in, I can already say my mood is way too high. I was kind of picturing it if I were a nurse in real life and how I would be treating a patient who just went through something traumatic, trying to lift the mood and everything, but you kind of have to play to the scene and I'm sure the scene is like, I haven't actually watched it yet, I'm sure it's not so chipper. You know, it's supposed to be something dramatic and it's based off of a true story, so... Therapist. These braces will help to straighten your hands and feet. I'm so sorry, this is going to hurt. What was I doing to make that noise? Your muscles have been clenched for so long, that's why it's so painful. But we need to get your limbs back into the proper position so we can retrain your muscle and get everything working again. All right, so there are two separate scenes. I couldn't find the first scene because I kind of just like fast forwarded until I saw like the one random black person in the movie and I knew that was who I was supposed to be. So that's how I found my role so quickly. I just dug it up right now, but yeah, I'm gonna continue now. I know, much better, huh? Remember your breathing. Good posture, deep breath, in through the nose, then out through the mouth, slowly, as if you're gently blowing out a candle, a few times. We'll get back to breathing next time. Let's work on your fine motor skills. Just give this ball a little squeeze. Don't try so hard to squeeze the ball. <laughs> Just see if you can bring your fingers together as tightly as you can. That's okay. Let's try again. You drop the ball again. It must be so frustrating. Blinking yes and no. 
patronizer. Is it? Oh, sorry, there are three scenes, which means I'm gonna have to go back and find those other scenes. Let's watch the third scene now. Is it safe to try this? Yes. I added thickener to the water, which gives it the consistency of nectar. <laughs> we don't want. To rewind hold on my sister was refusing she would not be my reader so i asked my mom what is this <laughs> is it safe to try this yes i added thickener to the water which gives it the consistency of nectar we don't want you to choke <laughs> i know you haven't had a sip of water in weeks but fair warning this is probably going to taste awful Careful now. That's okay. Just rest a second. You want to go again? So good. Your first words. Good job! So, water. What's free Boro? <laughs> There's four scenes. Did I just play out the entire movie in my audition tape? Okay. We still have an entire minute to go, so let's continue. Come on, Ashley. You don't want to fall behind. What's the point? To get better. No, but you can try. Why is everything so hard? For this part, I think my mom was now saying she didn't want to be my reader. So my sister wouldn't do it, my mom wouldn't do it. So I did it. And I recorded myself on iMovie. Having to regain a lost skill and, and learning to compensate for an ability that has drastically changed is one of the hardest things a person can ever do. You suffered a traumatic brain injury. How? How? What did Sam do? He strangled you. <sighs> Why would he do this to me? My body is broken! Look at me tearing up. That's so good. Even though my voiceover abilities are extremely cringy, and I definitely shouldn't have been my own reader because I kind of sabotaged myself with that, I think I did really good with this audition. I mean, of course, there are things I still look at and think, oh, I could have done so much better with that, or I shouldn't have done that. There's so many things I would change, but compared to the other ones you guys have seen, this is definitely one of the better ones. So now I'm gonna show you guys who they chose instead of me. I haven't actually watched this either. I just like, like I said, scrolled through. Hi, Ashley. I'm Mia. I'm gonna be your physical therapist. Hi, I'm Michelle. Oh, they named her nice Mia in the show. In my audition, my name was Sarah. Good job. I'm so proud of you. All right, my camera's about to die, so I have to quickly try and wrap this up, but we're almost done. I'm just going to go to the, I'm gonna stop it there. I've had enough. I'm kidding. <laughs> so you can see that there were a lot of similarities between me and the person they chose to be the nurse and a lot of differences. Of course they chose who they thought was best for the role. They thought she maybe fit their vision a lot better than I did. I don't take it personally. They say when you do auditions, you should just move on, never look back, throw away the script, forget you ever did it because you're gonna torture yourself. I personally don't feel tortured watching this stuff. I love to watch it to see, looking back at my audition tapes compared to who they chose, maybe somebody who did a better job, I can kind of say, okay, I could have improved on this. So you guys have seen me do a commercial, TV show, and a movie audition, and you've seen how they're all very different, how they all kind of have a different vibe, and you've also seen the things I've done wrong and how I could have maybe improved on some things. You know, looking back, I definitely see what I could have done better on. This was something that was very hard for me to do to actually put myself out there and show you guys my 
failed audition tapes. I hope you had a good laugh with some of my more awkward moments. Hopefully you guys like this video and if you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know down in the comments below, are you interested in acting or have you ever auditioned for a role and then when you saw who they chose instead of you, you were completely taken aback because they were nothing like you or the script was different or there was just something that you weren't expecting. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. I auditioned to be in a movie with Keith Powers and they chose a girl who looks just like me. They wouldn't! <laughs> How am I going to even edit this video? This is going to take forever. See you on October 3rd. What are you booking me? Anyways. Okay, just give me a second.